Self-love is one of the concepts of love that I cannot fully grasp. I grew up thinking that loving yourself is synonymous to being selfish and vain. I want to be known as a person that can make sacrifices of myself because for me, that is true love. Being born in a country where Catholicism or Christianity as a dominant religion in terms of numbers, I grew up knowing God through the Bible during our Catholic subject in school. And through it all, I learned that God's love is the perfect love. It is the perfect love because He sacrificed His own Son, crucified on the cross, in order to save us from our sins. With this, I was conditioned that whenever I make sacrifices or make myself suffer for others' sake, I am imitating God's love. Little did I know that while it is true that making sacrifices is probably the purest form of love, it could be that God is also trying to tell me something else. I moved to London to work as a nurse, sacrificed to be away from my family and to live a totally different life in order to save up and buy a house for my parents. Something which we have been dreaming for so long. And to be honest, I feel so honored and happy that I can make these sacrifices to help my family. But in the loops of all these events, I found myself exhausted. I found myself disconnected. I found myself crying and asking, why am I not happy despite making my family happy? I've been doing a lot of extra shifts in order to earn more and buy gifts for my family, especially for the upcoming Christmas, to pay the bills, and save up for the new house. I've been neglecting my own health, not exercising, not drinking enough water, having a lack of enough good sleep. As I take care of my patients and doing multiple tasks all at the same time. Not to mention dealing with all kinds of stress and trying to relate and empathize with my patient's feelings of distress. To summarize it, I've been so focused dealing with other people's needs, problems, and suffering that I failed to notice my own needs and inner struggle. That is when I started to search for the true meaning of self-love and what God says about it. Is self-love being selfish, being vain, self-focused, or self-absorbed? Is it something bad? What should I do? It is until God whispered unto me and said, That is okay to rest myself and to take care of myself, that it is okay to think of my own happiness, my own well-being without feeling guilty, that it is okay to not to put too much pressure to myself in order to please other people all the time. Back then, the Pharisees tried to trap Jesus with a question about the greatest commandment in the law, 
or among the Ten Commandments. But instead of choosing among the Ten, Jesus summarized it into two greatest commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. As the greatest and most important commandment. And he followed it through with another statement. The second most important commandment is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Out of nowhere, I remember this Bible verse and I was so blown away when I realized that Jesus himself talked about self-love within the two greatest commandments. The first commandment about loving God first with everything we have is already absolute. But little did we know that the second most important commandment is actually made up of two components. Jesus himself said, that we should love our neighbors as we love ourselves. It means that the amount of love that we give to others should be balanced with the amount of love we give to ourselves. What if Jesus told this so we won't love others to the point of neglecting ourselves? nor we love ourselves too much to the point of neglecting others. The amount of love we give outwards should be the same amount we give inwards and vice versa. So being a nurse, if I make sure that my patients are well hydrated, I should make sure that I drink good amounts of water too. If I make sure that my patients are being fed with nutritious foods to support their caloric needs, I should make sure that I eat well and healthy too. And if I am helping my patients to mobilize early after their surgery to avoid complications, I should also make it a priority to be active and exercise. And if I provide a quiet and calm environment for my patients so that they can rest and recover, I should be mindful too of my rest periods and ample time to sleep and recharge. realize that mastering self-love is the healthy way of loving others, or as the Bible quotes it, loving neighbors. Resting, meditating, complimenting yourself, forgiving yourself for your mistakes, being patient with your growth, celebrating your improvements whether they are small and big, celebrating your wins, humbly accepting others' compliments, loving your flaws and imperfections. All these will help you appreciate yourself and accept the fact that you are created in the image and likeness of God our Father. You are beautiful. You are worthy. You are loved.